past him. That's dropping the ball. Well done. Yeah, that's what I talk about, shutting down their space quickly when they start the handball. You've got to leave your man and go straight at the ball carrier. Does he want a ball? No. Now he's going to hit the top of the square. No tall Tim. Ebert. Ebert! Big grab by Ebert! Supermarket showdown 30. Well, if you're going to miss a goal, you get another opportunity. <laughs> go back and have a crack. And what a step ladder. He was so determined to get hold of that. He had uh, a real opportunity for Mark of the Year. Nice little shepherd. Oh, and I a friendly <laughs> fire from uh, a bit of friendly support from Mark. West off release, hand pass to Boak. He kicked the ripper in the opening turn. Oh! Fall forward off hands. Brown needed to trap it, couldn't quite. Hassled out of it. Port Adelaide getting numbers. Wingard, no way. Staggering. See the handball there, boys. Jason Paul please you miss the target with a left hand handball, and that's what causes the goal here. Another turnover by the Adelaide Footy Club, and you, you just can't afford to do that at AFL Footy. Just such goal sense. For the Premiership because they're learning to live without the big guns. Here's Paul. Games of footy, none more special than that from Chad Corn. Takes the ball out of the ruck and snaps over his shoulder. Port Adelaide have been so strong in the pressure tonight, whether at ground level or in the air, their physical strength has been far superior. Chad has got Polt in the beat. Here's Treadway back onto the ground, up and under kick. Lock and chest 20 metres out from Port's goal. Corn was nowhere in that contest. Was third man up. You speak of individual brilliance, but give you Chad Corns. Oh, look, it was sensational. I mean, the cry of Corns has been heard throughout South Australia for many, many years in very similar situations. And Chad Corns takes the big contested mark. That's what the Crows haven't had all night. A big man to, start, to stand up and take the big catch. Chad Corns does it. Now he has to finish. Come to the plate in the final term. History's third. Keeps it low, pumps it through. Bergwood will hang back. Polton taking in a tackle. Play on the call. Sock it off the ground. Comes to 50. Six seconds left. Schofield across the body. It's smothered. Two seconds remaining on the clock. And Port Adelaide weather the score. To win their sixth consecutive showdown. 78. Adelaide, 9. Can give him a hand. Puts a lot of pressure on Byron Pickett now. Let's have a look at it. And there's no doubt that Biglands wasn't expecting the hit. And I reckon Biglands should have been a little bit smarter knowing what was around him. I think he's been hit with a fair shirt front, it's not the stuffing out of him, that's obvious. Well, I mean, it was a, a direct contest, wasn't yeah. it? I mean, Biglands was there, trying to... Uh, well, you've got to be aware, Pickett. you've got to be aware of what's going on, and you've got to be more aware of certain players who play the game. And I don't say that in a negative fashion about Byron Pickett, but Byron will take you out if he can, and therefore you've got a responsibility to yourself to be awake. Well, it was in play, wasn't it? The ball had just gone away, it was slightly off our line as we were watching the football. A lot said about Byron Pickett, but as was pointed out when he sustained that suspension earlier in the year, Biglitz looks conscious, which is good news. Yeah, that is good news. He looks, <laughs> he'd only previously been suspended once. It's not as though yeah. he has a string of yeah. offences. He hits often and he hits hard, but most of yeah. the time he's he okay. hits fairly. Biglitz is OK. He's probably dirty on himself.
So is this a significant moment in Showdown 19? There it is again. Just the uh, line of sight there blocked by Cassisi as he's running past. But his head hit the ground pretty hard too. And play was... Pocket. Jacobs directs it down. Standing up, Corn's got a hand pass away to E. But those famous names again, O'Shea out of defence. A minute 45 of playing time remaining. Trengove can carry the ball. Now it's one on one inside the forward 50. Angus after his man slipped over. Takes Talia on again. Ben Burlo closing. Monfries has kicked the goal. Unbelievable. That makes up for Robbie Gray in the first quarter. Haven't seen anything like that. It's gone at right angles. Right angles, Tim. I saw it, Dennis. I still don't believe it, though. Was it the right angle, Tim? <laughs> it went at a right angle. I oh, did mathematics in grade five. That was a right angle. That was an amazing kick. This is going for the points. I mean, there was never, ever going to be anything bar behind. Well, Look at the bend on that. But Pythagoras is watching. Explain that. Mike Gatting still looking around at his stumps, wondering what happened.